let's talk briefly about three concepts, rules, offenses, and searches. Now, if in your Curator CE freshly installed, you are not going to have probably any offenses unless you start feeding logs and or flows that the rules will process and then fire on offenses. But I'm getting ahead of myself. All I'm saying is here is I'm using not my Curator CE but my full-blown Curator because I do have threats and attacks and stuff that fires offenses in it. So forgive me for that but you'll see that uh, things work the same in your system. So if you want to see the curator rules that are in your system, there are two ways. One is the traditional way, in which you click here under rules, and you get to this panel in which you can see all the rules that you have, and, and your system may come with, I don't know, 700 or so by default, and you can add more rules. Remember in the, on the video that we talk about the app exchange, that's a great source of uh, creating rules. It's unlikely that you will be creating your own rules. Most likely that has been done by somebody else. You may be tweaking and uh, tuning rules, uh, but it's, you may not, at, at least in the beginning, you will not be creating rules. Um, now, you can search for the rules by group, so you can put a name of something on the text in here and click on the magnifying glass and it will find your rules. However, I don't like this way of looking at rules because there is an app in the app exchange, remember that video that we did about it, called Use Case Manager. I mean, this is a beauty. Uh, this is a modern interface that shows you all the dependencies, all the categories, all the actions, and more stuff that we're going to be talking later. But keep this in mind, you can add this to your Curator CE from the app exchange. So if we click back into Offenses, we get to the offenses that have already fired in my system. Let's take a look at one, let's pick anyone in here, uh, this one. When we, when you click on the rule, you get the logic of the things that actually happen. So, so you get an email sent preceded by connection from a server. You can read that from yourself. But this, what, what, what this offense is, what an offense is, is nothing more than a short story. A short story that has something in common. In this particular case, we'll see that is the source IP. So what Curator has seen is that he has seen events happening on multiple things, but they have a common source IP, and Curator is putting them all together. So instead of sending you 61 things or alerts or whatever, it sends you one offense that has all these events uh, combined, because again, they have the same source IP. Best way of understanding why this offense happened is to display the rules that made the trigger. So if you click here on display and go on the rules, you see that in this particular case, is only one rule. More than one rule can contribute to one offense, and we will see an example if we have time later. But basically, when you click on the, you double click on that rule, you see, again, this is the old way of showing it in the app that I showed you before. This looks much nicer, but let's do it in the traditional way because that's what you have by, by default on the Curator CE. So, the first thing that you need to see on the rule that is in here is that the rule has, in this particular case, two conditions. So the logic goes that what it first, what curator first do is it evaluates the first condition and says, and flow or event, either flow or event, matches any one of the following. And this is what is called host definitions and host reference. These are tables that curator has in which you, either by providing information from a scanner or defining your network topology or, you know, the, I'm not going to get into that, but basically these are tables in which you tell Curator, hey, these are my mail server, these are my DNS server, these are my DHCP server, etc., etc. So Curator knows that when an event or flow comes from one of my of the things contained in these tables, it is a mail server. That's good. So because the first condition is true, the second condition gets evaluated. And then the second condition says, and when the source IP of this event is contained in any of 
this and in this particular case there's only one and this is this table is called a reference set it's a sophisticated name for just a table in Curita let me actually show you that so if we go here under uh, admin there is let me actually put this on the side there is a section here that is that reads reference set management and we're looking for phishing senders so if we if you look in here for phishing I'm sure you're gonna find lots of tables but let's actually look for see how many we have we have phishing senders and in it when you click on it we have several IPs one of them is contained in this particular offense and that's why that second condition got evaluated to true and because the two conditions in this particular case of the offense were true the the actual offense fire when the offense fire you click on the next page on the traditional GUI and then you can see that I'm not gonna cover these conditions on severity credibility and relevance uh, we can do that later but it, notice that is that is a check mark here and says and ensure that event of flow is part of an offense and is indexed by source IP it could have been by username or any one of the gazillions of properties that curator extracts from the system but in this particular case is source IP the common thing that has put all these events into a single offense yeah let's uh, this briefly this when this offense fire it, it dispatches a new event and that's the name of the event and some other things and you can have other actions like execute custom script and add things to tables etc I'm not gonna I don't have time to uh, cover that and again in the video description of all my videos there is a table uh, there's a PDF that contain index to all those uh, advanced topics so that is in a nutshell what an offense is all about and that offense is all about uh, events it's only about events uh, not flows if we click back into here all offenses we can see another offense that is based only on flows uh, for example let me take this one no actually that's the one I took before let me go back all offenses this one this one is only well actually it's a combination of logs and flows so it's actually it's, it's, it's a good one so this has 72 events and 71 flows and when you click here you can actually see what those events are you can you can do that uh, on the events and the flows and here you see that there are a bunch of them they have you know the the, the source IP the destination IP you, you get all that data. you get the flag that tells the country origin and so that's uh, in Ukraine uh, and, and you can do things in here like for example you can sort this by source byte I want to see what are the messages that you know th these are attempts of communication but nothing went on back and forth but if I sort this by source byte you get oh, okay there's some data here and the C stands for it, it uh, there was content that was actually seen going on and you can actually click on that particular event and you can see the details of it all the things that have this red dot mean mean indicates that they these things contributed to an offense remember that as we did in one of the other videos you can always uh, do things like well I, this the source IP is the same but you can actually do here you know filter on source IP or not source IP and you can you know reduce the amount of events that you are looking the other thing that uh, you can also do is that you can go back in time uh, five minutes and minutes so you specify the time and you can actually group your events uh, by different condition for example by application but probably the application is here all the same but I'm just going to do it just to show you that that is the case well actually there were two so here we have the group and then you have you know the sums of all the bytes in it and so so that's a way of really displaying the data that is inside an offense uh, or inside uh, events so we close that window and we get uh, 
back here and actually I know that that IP is malicious. I mean, you can actually do copy paste and go to virus total or any other site and, and validate that. But here in my system, I had advisor and advisor already evaluated that. And this is a piece that you don't get by default. And it's actually telling me, yeah, that that, that IP is actually malicious. That's what is in red. And this is actually related to the Emonet. There's <laughs> uh, actually a recent uh, malware on it. And, and this is uh, probably the mail server that the guy went to. And this is the workstation that he used. Uh, to go there and so on. But I'm, I mean, this, this video is not all, all about uh, advisor, uh, but this is a, a, you know, a sh short explanation on what an offense and what the rules behind the offenses are. Now, in terms of searches, uh, well, you can go into log activity tab to look for, uh, for logs. And again, uh, you can always go back in time. Let me go back in time 12 hours, for example to see events and I have lots of them right these are coming from Amazon in the cloud and, and and you can actually as I said before a good way of actually looking at these things is to sort them or group them by uh, event name for example and then you got instead of all those multiple pages of things you have those those elements actually grouped in here right again remember that you can always uh, filter things in here you can also filter the events as we did in one of the previous video by here and you can specify what property it is source IP or destination IP or you know what what the conditions are that you want to to add there is in the video description you get a link to a box folder where you'll find this document and in it there are the things are grouped by kind of a category. There's a section on searching in Curator. And you can click on any one of these links and get to know. I mean, I, I like to put, especially in the recent videos, the date. So you can see how dated uh, things are. And, and this, this once you watch this video and you practice with your Curator CE, you will be pretty damn good in <laughs> in performing the searches. And yeah, there are like that there are all the topics these are the pfsense one and and you know there are use cases locks on the cloud and you can you can refer i mean there are hundreds of those videos that you can search i think that it's a lot easier to search them here than it is in in youtube itself and you can actually learn uh, quite a bit uh, from curator from these videos